Hi, I'm Debbie Myers, Vice President of Armor Light. And I'm, a, I'm Eileen Cameron, Director of Business Development here at Armor Light. And today, Eileen's going to explain to us about um, different glazing options, insulated glazing options. Um, IGU stands for Insulated Glazing Unit. And I believe we have three. I don't, does this one count as an IGU? It does. Okay, so we have three IGUs here to tell you about today. Okay. Uh, the first one is a half inch insulated glass unit. These are the ones you typically see in insulated garage doors now. Um, you can see that there is a spacer here. You can see it through the glass. And the air space combined with the two pieces of glass equals about a half inch or seven sixteenths. Okay. And do we know what the R value is on it that depends. glazing unit? Um, the R value or U value depends on the actual makeup of the glass unit. You can have a half inch or seven sixteenths insulated glass unit made up of a couple different kinds of glass. Um, the space in between can be filled with air or argon gas. Oh, and all of these all are play factors. into your thermal values. Okay, all right. So actually, um, you can call us with your specific needs and we can you know we can go over the different options and the thermal values of those okay so in the middle we have plastic which i yeah. was just saying i i <laughs> find it very hard to wrap my head around the fact that plastic offers a thermal value and actually a pretty good one too um considering i think the well the r value on a one inch with seven walls is actually like 3.4 Okay. For something like this. This one's a three wall. And this is a multi wall polycarbonate. Yes. Um, this one doesn't come with any kind of low E coating. You can't fill it with anything other than air. But it does offer pretty, pretty good R value um, for what it is. Now, the benefit to this, though, in addition to thermal, is that it's very difficult to break it. And it's also very lightweight. Yeah. It is very, I mean, there's, there's nothing to this, yeah. you know, no weight to and this. And certain um, kinds of these particularly the seven wall one inch and I think it's the five wall five eighths inch are actually impact um, resistant. Because of the leave. fact that they, right, that um, I mean it's polycarbonate, it is tough as nails. Yeah. Um, I think we did a, didn't we do a podcast or we did a little video, we didn't did. we? Of some guys in the plant. That was the, yeah, of smash, um, trying to smash it. Um, GC, hitting it with a hammer. Um, right. Of course in the testing they shoot with a two by four, but we couldn't do that in our office. <laughs> and now this big guy on the end is a one inch IGU which is exclusive to oh. Armor Light. So if you're looking for a one inch um, product, now you have to call us. That one's also special if you notice something about it. You can't see through it, can you? No. Oh, I didn't realize no. that. <laughs> So what is this made up of? That's actually something called spandrel glass. Okay. Um, but spandrel glass is back painted glass. Um, it's used uh, a lot to hide, say, structure behind the door. Okay. You don't want people to see. Okay. Doesn't let light in. Um, so we recommend it, especially for use on like transoms, hanging transoms above the door. If you have, say, any low hanging structural supports, you don't want anything oh. to see from the outside. Oh, good. And so you start at glass, but you don't have to see all the. Right, it looks like on, on this unit, the front, the... the it's clear, yeah. Is clear, okay, mm -hmm. good. And it does provide thermal values, too, so you can put low E coatings on it if you need to. So many options. Mm -hmm. So, call us with your specific um, requirements at 1-800-554-5816. <laughs> or you can go to our website at www.armorlight.com. Thank you for joining us today. Again, I'm Debbie Myers, Vice President at Armorlite. <laughs> and I'm Eileen Catherine, Director of Business Development here at Armorlite.